Testing. One, two, three, four. Better. Yes, I have already tested. Oh. You tested. Before you were told to test? Nobody has to tell me to test. I'm just used to when I have to take a test being told when to start. <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning. <laughs> Welcome to We'll We'll Figure figure It it Out. Out. Today on We'll Figure It Out, we are going to figure out where to put money that we took out of our monthly budget for various reasons. Oh, I have some ideas of where to put it. (laughs) Do you now? Do I want to know? I'm kind of scared. Why? Why? Why would you be scared? (laughs) Because your tone was threatening. (laughs) It was threatening. I was going to put it into a skate ramp. Oh, gosh. (laughs) Okay, I don't skate, so therefore I am not putting money into a skate ramp. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) That would be one of my harebrained ideas to do for the kids to have them have something to do. (sighs) Okay, so a little background. We have previously discussed in a previous podcast, which we will link in the description, how our monthly budgeting is done. So we have a spreadsheet that tracks all of our monthly payments that we pay bills for. Utilities, house, anything that's recurring monthly, we have a spreadsheet that we fill in the numbers And we know what we have to pay every month. So, a couple of months ago, probably, I guess it was December or January, when I looked through everything. Um, I think January. So, January, I went through our whole entire budget and I looked at things that we could possibly take out of our monthly spending to be able to take that money and put it elsewhere. Essentially trying to save more money and or pay off debt. And the reason I did that was because I went through our whole entire spending for the previous year and because 2020 was sucky for everyone and it sucked for us, we spent 100.5% of our income (laughs) last year. Um... Partly due because of me being furloughed and a pay reduction when I came back from furlough. And partly because I was injured for a couple of months and was not working um, a whole lot. I was, like, losing 10 to 15 hours a week. And partly for me because I started eating and eating and eating a lot. And then developed a crack habit. Oh. (laughs) There I go again. With the crack. Okay, that's... I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm done. (laughs) Not yet. Not yet. Too soon. Too soon. soon. Okay, fine. So, um, anyway, I was like, okay, we can't keep going like this. You know, I didn't know at that time when and if I was going to get my pay back. So, I was like, we have to, like, cut things and try and get ourselves back on track. I didn't know how long I would be down and out. I was just trying to help us reduce our spending so we could either save, pay off debt, or just survive, depending on circumstances. But since then, I have regained my pay. I have been been able to work two full weeks. Well, I have to work three hours tomorrow, and then I will have my second full week of work since the mid-November. Aren't you proud of me? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, Good job. Thank you. Um, And I did finally find out what was causing my pain. I have a bulging slash herniated disc. The radiologist report said bulging disc, and I didn't get to tell you. The doctor sent me a message and said it was herniated. Oh. Yeah. So, um... But... I actually went to the chiropractor 
Mm, what was that? Wednesday or Thursday? It was Thursday. Yes, Thursday. So yeah, yesterday. It's Friday. It's oh, it Friday. is Friday. So that yeah. was yesterday. Yes. And they did this cervical traction thing where they put you on a machine and it takes your neck and it stretches you. And I was so sore for like the next 12 to 16 hours, I guess. Um, and I had to ice and heat and try and get my muscles to relax and feel better. But like, I notice a difference in the way my neck feels. And it's almost like how my neck felt before I started having pain, like normal. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm, there might be something to this, you know, cervical traction thing. I don't know. We'll see. But, oh my gosh, it hurt so bad afterwards. It was like, I don't know. My muscles are so tight in my neck anyway. So it was probably, I, I don't know. I need to like warm up before they do that or something, you know. How exactly do you warm up for, for traction? I don't know. You like get your, your blood pumping so your muscles have blood. You know, like when you, you don't stretch muscles that are cold because then mm -hmm. you tear them. Mm -hmm. So like I need to like warm up my muscles. I don't know. Do some, some head nodding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know. So what you need to do is you need to listen to some heavy metal. <laughs> Start, I don't know, you know if they'll help my slip disc or what not slip disc, but bulging discs. To... Well, I mean, you'd be banging your head, you know? Head banging. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I'll have to ask the um, the chiropractor and be like, I think I need to warm up before y'all start stretching my muscles. Or, you know, maybe she can massage my neck to get the blood flowing. I don't know. Anyway, that's totally off topic of what we're supposed to be discussing, which is redirection of these funds that we took out of our monthly spending okay so along with having our bills in a spreadsheet we split our bills into two two parts first of the month to the 15th and then the 16th to the end of the month reason we do that is because both of us get paid typically twice a month i get paid every other week he gets paid on the 15th and the last day of the month. So it's just easier for us to split it up so we know what we have to pay within that pay period. And sometimes our pay checks coincide, sometimes they're alternating. It just depends on... Yeah, right now they're out of sync. Yeah, they were in sync for a couple of months. Uh, 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 is that in sync? No. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's new kids on the block. <laughs> uh, Flashback and, to the 80s. Yeah, mm-hmm. Early 90s. <clears throat> so that's how we split up our, our budget. So we have stuff from both parts of the month that we took out of our monthly budgeting. So, and we also paid off some debts. So we paid off, um, we had our, what is this bed called? The sleep number bed. The sleep number bed we had purchased uh, in 2019. And then we had some medical expenses for the dog that we had to pay off for the care credit card. And several years ago, I took out a 401k, 401k loan and we paid that off. So we have the minimum payments for that, that we are redirecting. And then when I did the whole, what are we spending and what can we take out? Um, we paused and or canceled our sling subscription, Naked Wines, which is a wine subscription where we pay $20 a month, and then when we get enough money, we order a case of wine. And so we always have wine on hand. So. And it's not just from the kids. <laughs> Different kind of wine. <laughs> <laughs> the other day we ran out of cheese, so we couldn't... <laughs> <laughs> we could have no cheese with our wine. Oh, yes. Yes, that was interesting. I don't think we've ever run out of cheese in this house before. We always have cheese. <laughs> Uh, just just a little thing here. 
the quesadillas with the sliced cheese actually came out pretty good. <laughs> they, did, they did. They did. And um, we had decided to buy a smaller bag because typically the larger bags had been going bad. And so had we stuck with the larger bag, maybe we would have had shredded cheese for the rest of the week. Yeah. And not ran out of sliced cheese because we had to use sliced cheese instead of shredded cheese. Yeah. So that smaller bag of shredded cheese went in two days. And nobody seems to be fessing up as to who actually ate it all. I have a feeling it may have been your youngest son. And yeah, my swears, middle son. Who swears it wasn't him. But you know. It wasn't Noah because he isn't home during the day. And, like, no. He's yeah. not going to fix himself stuff with cheese. Wouldn't me. And Jonathan <laughs> doesn't like cheese, so typically he's not going to eat oh, cheese. Oh, no. John Johnny uses cheese every so often. Yeah, but not, like, a whole bag of cheese. Can you see him eating a whole bag of cheese? No, and I don't think I'd want to. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, is that realistic that Jonathan would eat almost a whole entire bag of cheese? He usually takes the cheese and pours it over his rice and then gets some red sauce with it. Yeah, okay. All three things that Johnny really doesn't eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, when has he ever done that? That sounds like a terrible thing. I don't know. You're killing me. Oh my God. That, that, this is not April Fool's, honey. It was yesterday. <laughs> that joke may have worked then, but it's not going to work now. Oh, no, I take April Fool's Day very seriously nowadays, especially after last year. What happened last year? The pandemic. No, oh. <laughs> nobody did anything for <laughs> April Fool's. No. During that, nobody wanted to just, no, it just didn't happen. No, we, we had no mental capacity for jokes. <laughs> Samuel told me that he got a virus on his computer. Oh my gosh. Which, he, his computer had crashed that day, or yesterday, the day before. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what did you download? A game offline? I'm like, what game? He's like, Gabriel Fools! <laughs> I'm like, that was a good one, because that's realistic. <laughs> okay, so back to the budget. <laughs> so... We have money from both sections of halves, or I guess we have money from both halves of the month. month that we need to take those minimum payments and redirect them somewhere else. Because if we don't, we will likely spend them and they will, that those monies that were intended for savings will not go to savings. All right. So we have. Our savings is what we call sinking funds. So in our savings, we have two savings accounts. We have a short term and a long term. And within those, within those savings accounts, we have categorized known expenses that we are going to have and or need to save money for. Instead of having 15 different savings accounts, we have two and we assign the money to a specific category or sinking fund. I need to take a breath. <laughs> breathe, honey, breathe. Um, so we can use that money for those anticipated expenses. expenses. Thank you. All right. So now that I've talked a whole bunch, you want to go over our categories? Not really, but I will. Because people just don't need to know our business. But I'll tell them. Well, then why do we have a podcast if we won't want to tell anybody our business? I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, since everybody's all up in our business here. <laughs> all right, so far our sinking funds or, or our typical what we know we're going to be having to have money for in the upcoming, you know, near futures uh we have a camp fund we have an emergency fund we have a month's worth of bills well no we don't really have a month's worth of bills in there but you know not that is, yet that is a goal <laughs> it's a goal uh we have a fund for car repair clothing 
school supplies, uh, what we call the medical HSA, which is basically enough to cover a deductible. Yeah, our deductible. Yeah, one deductible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. We, no, it's the family deductible. The family deductible for that one? Yes, because it's 1500 per person, 4000 for the family. Okay. Yeah, that mm-hmm. makes sense. See, it's hard for me to follow because I'm not on the insurance. No. I have to have my own insurance, which I don't even know what my details are on that one. Because you never use it. No, because I never use it. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, so, and we recently added, finally, after a couple <laughs> of years of having it notated that we need to add... We now have a Christmas fund. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because with six kids, it it does tend to uh, add up quickly. And we have the interest category, which is the interest is unassigned to any specific thing. It's at the end of the month when the bank gives us interest, we put it there. Um, and then later on, when, right now we have it scheduled out for when we have $100 in interest. We will direct that to another fund and then start over. Um, Then we have our long-term savings. These are the things that are going to take us longer to accumulate funds for, and we might not necessarily need them within the next 12 months or so. Um, We have a car replacement fund, which we just replaced two of our vehicles with one, so we... Don't anticipate needing that in the next couple of years, but we will eventually start putting money towards that. Uh, We need to do some renovations in our home, so we have a renovation fund. We have a travel fund because we have the intention of actually going and having vacations eventually. We had one vacation. Yeah, we have good intentions. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) We were going to do another vacation last year until COVID. Yeah. covid Totally next that one. Uh, we have a retirement fund, which is basically a semi-retirement fund for Jeremy, so he can quit being a mechanic and find something else to do with his life. And then we have a super secret, top secret, we're not going to tell you what our goal is fund. We're not going to say what it is, but I can guarantee you it's not vasectomy reversal. or adoption fund (laughs) not an adoption fund either not that we have anything wrong with adopting children we're done okay that's about right we can we can put it there yeah and then it'll be okay for the ending for me to say it again okay Okay. yeah 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 Yeah. um And then we have another interest fund, which, again, the interest that we receive at the end of the month goes into this fund. When it accumulates to $100, we will put it in a category. And then we have unassigned categories for things that may come up in the future and we need to put money aside for a specific thing. We have space to do that in our little spreadsheet. Yes, so that we don't have to always, whenever we say, hey, we need to save up. For this widget. Um, so, or the sprocket. Uh, sprockets actually exist. <laughs> but, the widgets, widgets are a fictitional thing. Not on George Jetsons. The Jetsons. Not on the Jetsons. Mm, that's basically sprockets actually existed. <laughs> but they had widgets too. Yeah, they, you know, have you ever put your hand on a widget in real life? I mean, I've called it a widget, but it may not have been the proper name for it. Okay, this is supposed to be a family programming here. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) Anyway, so, um, I don't know if y'all want to know the the amount of our goals. We did some little reconfiguring lately, and, um... We adjusted some of these, and I can't remember what they were prior, so you're going to get the current today Um, amounts for our funds. So the camp fund, which is for child care for our youngest, Noah, who may or may not go to summer camp this year. I don't know. He didn't go last year. Um, COVID. 
<laughs> you know, I really shouldn't have done that in a cough. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> okay, then we have... Okay, so right now, our goal for that is $1,100, and we have $143 in that fund. Right? Yeah. Yes, that's the balance. Okay. This is a new spreadsheet that he made, and so I'm still trying to figure out what everything is, because I'm not used to it. Then our $1,500 emergency fund, we have that fully funded. We have... Um, our monthly month of bills. So we want to be able to have one month of bills stocked away in our savings account in case anything happens, we can at least survive 30 days. We currently have $285 in that fund. And we, I did I say, we have a $6,000. Yeah, we upped it to 6000 Yeah, it was, I think it was originally four or something like that. And I went and looked at what our average monthly bills were for the last year or two, and it averages out to like six or seven thousand dollars. Yeah, it's because we we started paying on that widget, <laughs> but not the sprockets. But not the sprockets. <laughs> then our car repair fund is a thousand dollars, which is a little bit lower than I would have if I didn't have a mechanic for a husband. But since I have a mechanic for a husband, we really only need to have to cover, we only need to really have to uh, possibly cover parts. I don't know what that sentence was, but I hope it made sense. <laughs> so this is to cover expenses for car parts, not car labor. If you have to cover car labor, I would suggest a more heftier $1,500 to $3,000. Yeah. Especially if I'm working on your car. <laughs> can get costly because you're very talented <laughs> and know what you're doing okay so then we also adjusted our clothing fund it was a lot higher and i went through and found the average that we spent in a year and it was about thirteen hundred dollars typically we don't ever really need to take money out of that fund we usually can work it in our monthly budget um but in case we needed a whole host of clothes and we didn't have the money in our budget, we would have it in our savings. Then school supplies, which also includes, like, Noah's the only one that goes to public school and has yearly school supply fees. It also covers um, anything that we would do for homeschool that is extracurricular and field trips and... Whatever technology may need to be had. Yeah, if for we it. need a new technology thing. Then our medical HSA is 4000 like we said. It is the duct family deductible. We had discussed possibly doing the whole 10000 max out of pocket for the family. But because we can put things on payment plans, we decided to just go with the $4,000 deductible. Because the $4,000 will get us... I guess started on. Yeah. So we currently will probably this, this month hit our deductible for the family. And we are super close to our out of pocket, out of pocket max. And that would be because of me going to physical therapy and the doctor visits that I've incurred. Mm -hmm. Then Evan had his emergency room visit. Then Jordan had his, all his testing done and his surgery, which we still need to see the yeah. final bill for that bottom line for the surgery. Right. And then also Jonathan had an injury. Samuel is in physical therapy for a shoulder injury. We've kind of just like broken this year. <laughs> uh, last year by March, we had, met the out-of-pocket max for Samuel, and so this year we've almost reached our for, the for the family. So we're like, get it in quick, get it done, and then the rest of the year, smooth sailing. Yes. Anybody <laughs> else needs to get sick? Do Let's, it now. Yeah, do it this year. <laughs> Except for me. <laughs> yeah, because we don't even know what your deductible is. I'm the outcast. <laughs> Because my company won't cover spouses that can have access to insurance, which is something I've never heard of before, so that was new. was not expecting that. Okay, but anyway, back to our funds. We Then we have the Christmas fund. We have a $2,000 Christmas fund. 
Uh, we have $142 in that fund. Oh, our medical is fully funded. Then our interest fund, we currently have $42.96 in, which when it gets to 100 like we said, we will redirect it. Then in our long-term savings, our car replacement fund is 9000 which basically would be a nice down payment. Or if, you know, we want to be stingy, it would cover the cost of... A quality person. used car, or a at least a somewhat quality. A decent car. one, the one a, that you a wouldn't... used car, just a used yeah. car. Yeah, just yeah, a car. Yeah, I don't buy new. Yeah, 1993 Geo Metro. Uh, <laughs> that is not going to be our next car. We can buy four of them. Uh, <laughs> I, I want a mini, a mini Cooper before I get a Geo Metro. Uh, I got to remind you that you married me. I know. So that's know, not going to happen. No. Okay. <laughs> And then we have a renovation budget, which is $8,000, and we have $200 in it. Oh, we do not have any money in our car replacement fund. Like I said, we replaced a car last year, and so therefore that money went to that car. So we will get around to doing that one day. Then travel, we have a uh, $4,000 budget for travel. We have $777. I'm glad that's not 666 and then <laughs> for retirement, we have a $10,000 um, goal. We are at twenty six fifty. Then the super secret fund is going to be a su super secret budgetary amount. And we have a super secret amount funded into it. A <laughs> dollar twenty five. Okay. And then our interest for this account goal is a hundred. We are at 2813. When it reaches 100, we will redirect. So that is basically the categories that we have, the amount of money that we have. It is a total of $51,100 of a goal. And we currently have... Wait, no, our total goal is 69. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's the long-term goal. Okay. So our total goal for both accounts equals $69,100. And we have a obtained an undisclosed amount because we're not going to disclose the amount that we have because it may reveal what we have in our super secret fund. A dollar twenty-five. <laughs> Any, somebody out there is going to get that reference. All right. So that is our savings goals. Now for the redirection, the direction of redirecting. So the total amount that we have between the minimum payments that we've gotten rid of because we paid things off and the subscriptions that we have... What did we do? We canceled, canceled, them? canceled or paused. Okay. Okay, so total amount every month that we have to play with is $585. We split up that $585. The first half of the month, uh, we had $285 worth of redirections that we could do. And then the second half, we had $300 that we can redirect. Now, we already have 250 for the first and 250 for the ha second half that we already direct towards savings first half of the month is always going to go to the short term or sinking funds second half always goes to our long term so total for the month that we are now putting in savings is 1000 Eighty-five dollars, which blows my mind. At least it's more than a dollar twenty-five. All right, so. Okay, I have to say it because she said so. A needle pulling thread. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that means that we have to figure out. Look, we're figuring something out. <laughs> we have to figure out where we're going to put it. Well, we already have it figured out, but, you know, we have to make them suspense. 
Well, we have to make them think that we need to figure it out because if we have already figured it out, then we're really not figuring it out on the podcast. We're previously figuring it out and just telling them how we figured it out. Okay, so that's like premeditated figuring? (laughs) Is what that is? (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Does that come with a longer sentence? Because I can make a run-on sentence all you want. I mean, like I'm... I did earlier when I needed to take a breath? Okay. Yes, breathe, honey, please. <laughs> <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. All right, so we have our redirected funds all figured out. We are going to tell you what we're going to do with these things. So the $285... We are splitting between two different funds. We are going to do the Christmas fund because we need to start saving up towards that because that's coming up in a few months. Well, it usually lands around Christmas time. It, the twelfth month of the year, and we're already in the fourth month of the year. So you know, time's getting shorter between when we. Wow, need it. that's three quarters of the year away. I know. It's scary. Um, so Christmas fund, we're going to put $142 towards, and then because summer is coming up even quicker than that, we need to put money in camp in case we decide to put somebody in camp, then we will do $143 towards camp. Now, if we decide that we're not doing camp, we can either redirect that money to somewhere else or save it for the following year when maybe COVID's not as crazy and more things are available and open. COVID will always be crazy. Be crazy, yo. All right. And then dun, for dun, dun. <laughs> the second half of the month, which is going to our long-term savings, which is the $300 a month, we have decided to put it into the super secrets, top secrets. You will not know until after the fact of it being spent. Still not a vasectomy reversal. Still not an adoption. And so that's going to be $300 a month going towards that. And then we did not disclose the fact that I get money every month in an, in an account that's separate from our joint account. And... From that money, I put $100 into our savings account, and that money is going to go to renovations because we have a fence, a bathroom that needs to be remodeled, some sheetrock repairs that need to be done. Mm -hmm. And some flooring that needs to be replaced because we don't want carpet. That, and we also probably need to replace the couch at some point. And we're debating whether we're going to change some things in the kitchen, like the countertop and a backsplash. And maybe paint cabinets or something. So, um, that is on our agenda for renovation. So we're trying to get money into that account so we can do those renovations. This is what happens when we wait till, like, you know, super late. And this is actually our second take of this, because our first one was un- unplanned all over the place. Oh my gosh. It was, I mean, we, we, yes, we bounce all over topics and we go, but I couldn't even follow the conversation and it was my conversation. So we had this previously recorded and I was listening to it and editing it and I was like, I can't follow this conversation and it's my conversation so how are these people going to be able to follow this conversation i they can't which will explain why there was no podcast this past week correct because we just didn't have it in us we apparently didn't figure that one out <laughs> no, we didn't. well you know you were coming home from being out of town getting jordan and jordan did come back with us and so he's been co- recovering from surgery so our focus has been on family the last week so not a big deal all right that leaves us we did have a conversation on the not podcast about instead of doing camp 
maybe joining the 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 quote unquote and I'm doing the air quotes uh country club where the kids can go swimming and stuff in the summer instead of Noah going to camp. They all could benefit from that because we are going to get rid of our pool eventually. Yes. You know, it blows my mind that they call things country clubs when it's nowhere near the country. But anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, but because of our super top secret category, I'm wondering... <sighs> Our plans, we may not be in a position to do that right, we might regularly not, yeah. to where we would benefit from purchasing that. So I'm thinking that if he doesn't go to camp, maybe we purchase some kind of entertainment for outdoors. I say that we redirect that money towards something. Some for other the... form of entertainment. Just, just... Oh. Yeah. But I want to say super top secret category. <laughs> Redirect it for the super top secret category. How about that? Okay, that works. Okay. The category which will remain unnamed. Voldemort. <laughs> My precious. Wrong movie. Um, I know. <laughs> <laughs> But that's what I thought about. Sorry. That's where my brain went. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, yeah. So that is what is going on. And that is where we're putting our money. And we want to know, how do y'all do it? How do you plan for known expenses that are coming up? How do you, do you have savings accounts where you have categories assigned to your money and blah, 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 blah. And do you have a top secret unknown thing that you might do that you're not going to tell anybody about until after it's done? Or maybe never. I don't. I mean, you and I already know what we I, have. I'm so asking oh, you're not our asking me. podcast listeners, but like seven of them. There's that many? I think. I don't know. <laughs> Good thing they can't see me because I get stage fright like something awful. I can talk all you want, just not be seen. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you're so shy on my videos? <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe it's just because I'm... You're just an introvert. Just a, yes. The epitome of an introvert. <clears throat> all right. Introverts, unite. At home. <laughs> By yourselves. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, that is our... That is our plan for our funds that we have released from bondage of debts and subscriptions. <laughs> Once again, family programming. Family programming. <laughs> Not that kind of bondage. Anyway. Tell that to the widget. <laughs> For that, I think I can safely say, I'm done. <laughs> I think that's all we've got there, folks. <laughs> I'm crying. Why am I so hard? I'm crying. Oh, my goodness. Oh, maybe we should record more. We're funnier when we're tired. <laughs> we should record more when we're this tired because apparently we're funnier when we're tired, or at least we think so. <laughs> anyway. All right, guys. I think I think we have that figured out. I think we've shared with you what we figured out. And, you know, hey, give us some feedback. We'd love some comments. We'd love some, you know, con constructive... Cri I can't think of words. Constructive criticism. We want to know what you want to hear about. You know, we kind of just tell y'all about things that we're figuring out as we're living our lives. But if there's something specific you want us to figure out, 
and, you know, help you figure out, then, you know, let us know. Because we like figuring things out. It's kind of what we do. I like to sometimes create problems to figure <laughs> out, huh? No comment. <laughs> Or I have wild ideas that need to be figured out. We may have discussed previously about, you know, me not being confrontational. This is one of those times. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I married you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a great day. And we hope that you return for our next episode when and well, where nope you, hold on take two it's function. almost been night you can't english right now no i can't all right guys thank you so much for listening to us ramble and jump through all kinds of different categories and <laughs> conversations and rabbit holes and bonding with widgets <laughs> 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 so y'all have a great day and we hope that you return for our next next episode where we'll, we'll figure, figure it out, out. or we won't <laughs> <laughs>